Hello Shida, welcome back to the Podcast Forex. We'll be giving you our weekly Forex focus. This is Euro USD. Now for Euro USD, we recently got an, an impulse move and we got uh, a little corrective structure then we got an impulse move here to around this area and we got a sudden down impulse move breaking this previous low here like that. And from here, um, we got this impulse move so we can expect a corrective structure here to complete then we can have an up move breaking this previous high here like that. Then... Um, there's also a chance that we might get another corrective structure here like this uh, then impulse up slightly breaking previous high then we can have a drop here we can have a drop uh, breaking this previous low and breaking this previous low and breaking this previous low just like that then um, uh, we can have this drop all the way up to around this area that's on euro usd this is usd jpy now for usd jpy um, this is what we're expecting based on how structure has been moving. We're expecting price to complete this slight corrective structure, then give one more drop, slightly breaking this previous low. And from here, there's a high chance, there's a high chance we might head up one more time. How structure looks, it's showing that there's a high time, there's a high chance uh, we might heading up one more time. This up move might not be that this big, big, big. It might just be um, a movement that is uh, just maybe a movement like this up to around uh, this area here. Then we can have this big drop breaking previous low breaking previous low so uh, the expected move the expected move all along was a big wave down but because of how structure is unfolding here we we may expect a little bit up here then after the up move completes that's when we can start to expect this drop here but the, the main move that we're expecting is this drop here okay so if you find an opportunity to be able to trade this movement uh, you can be able to look for an entry then uh, keep in mind that there can be a big drop anytime soon. This is NZDUSD. Now for NZDUSD, this is how structure looks. We recently got this up move. Uh, we can expect maybe a slight corrective structure here. Then one more up, breaking this previous high. And breaking this previous high, it's, it's highly possible. And then we can have a drop like this. We can have a drop. Or uh, this is how price can unfold. After getting this impulse move, we can have an impulse move down and then a corrective structure and get a drop corrective structure then uh, a drop like that that's what we can expect and then from here we'll be giving you an update on what's next if price decides to follow this route um, so let's move on to the next pair this is nzd chf now for nzd chf um, based on what we have here we can have a corrective structure then drop breaking previous low corrective structure drop like that up to around this area keep in mind this drop here this drop here uh can be just a sharp move similar to this similar to this movement here all the way up to around this area uh, price can follow uh, this route also uh, another option if we start to develop something that looks like a corrective structure here you can expect uh, one more up just maybe up to around this area then head drop then after all this this will just be a bigger corrective structure then we might be heading up uh, breaking previous high and breaking previous high just like that this is euro nzd and for the previous weeks we've been talking about this uh right from this area we've been talking about a drop or a corrective structure so uh, since we recently got this drop and then a small correction here then a drop uh what you can expect you can expect an uh, either another corrective structure here then drop and this will be the last one and then we can start heading up or either we might have a bigger corrective structure here uh, which might have got to around this area then get a drop breaking this previous low and this will just be a corrective structure like this uh, that is what you can expect on euro and this is nzdjpy now for nzdjpy price is expected to give a drop here like this we're expecting a movement similar to this a drop like this up to around this area that is what we can expect for now and then after we get this drop there's a high chance we might have uh, head up one more time that is for nzd jpy on this chart we have gbp usd now for gbp usd you all know that we've been following it step by step we've been following it step by step um so what we can expect here we can expect either a, a small corrective structure then a slight drop breaking this previous slow like that and maybe get another one break previous slow like that and uh, this would just be the movement a corrective structure up to around this area then you can have one more up one more up breaking this previous high slightly then um from here we can be assessing the next move but if 
if we uh, continue up to break this previous high you should expect this would just be one big corrective structure like this this would just be one big corrective structure like this and um, from here we might have a drop we might have a drop like that that is for GBP USD another pair which we have here is Euro CD now for Euro CD um, uh, we can expect a corrective structure here then a drop breaking previous low like that up to around this area then we can head up breaking high breaking high like that that is an expected movement we're expecting this corrective structure to complete then we can have a drop a drop like that so uh, let's move on to the next pair this is euro AUD. now for euro AUD, we recently got a new pulse move and price is just moving like this just moving like this just moving like this so what you can expect here uh based on our price is moving it's either we get a corrective structure here then price continues lower like this breaks lower or we can have price um, kind of like giving an impulse here then a corrective structure then up impulse corrective structure then up up to around this area then from here we can have a drop like this we can have a drop like this breaking this previous low that is what we can expect on euro CAD. so uh, as of now we, we can't really share much on this because it, it we are waiting to get a few candles to kind of like um, uh, get what the direction of the of the of the movement is and where price is more most likely to head so as of now uh if you're interested in trading this pay you can just put it aside and focus on pairs that are giving more information this is euro gbp now as we stated this previous week that there's a chance that we might uh, get a correct structure like this and head lower one more time then from here around this area we can be heading up now anytime from this zone anytime from the zone um know that it's a zone uh, that shows direction up. It's a zone that shows direction up, which means anytime we can be heading up from here. So keep that in mind. Um, don't be shocked if you are manipulated here trying to look for entry because uh, from such short areas like this, uh, short pivot areas, you are more likely to be uh, manipulated here. So just be careful when looking for this. Uh, entry on euro gbp but just know that the direction is up here this is gbp chf now for gbp chf this is how we're moving we're moving like this we're moving like this so uh, since we are, we, are, we, are, we are noticing a corrective structure here here be careful for a drop here to break previous low and break this previous low like this up to around this area slightly breaking previous low then we can look out for an up move uh, to break this previous high like that so that is what we are focusing based on structure. That's for GBP CHF. This is CADJPY. CADJPY. Now for CADJPY, based on um, what we have here, we have an impulse and we have a quadrative structure like this. And then, so from here, you can expect price to continue lower like this, breaking this previous low all the way up to around this area. You can expect price to continue lower. Alternatively, uh, if price is to um, uh, head up, it would just be maybe an impulse move then we get a quarter structure then head up up to around this area max then still get this drop um i kind of like overdid the drop here uh kind of like get a drop here up to around this area slightly breaking this previous slow like that so we'd have just price moving like this and this would just be one big corrective structure then get a drop breaking this previous slow and then from here we can be having an up move like that so alternatively we can just have um this movement reach this point here uh, from this point uh, just price moving like this up to around this area then we can have this impulse move like this uh, that is what we can expect so, so those are the uh, two possible routes either price continue lower and then head up or um, give this impulse and then impulse drop corrective structure then drop like that breaking this previous loss that's for cdjpy this is usd chf now for usd chf uh, this is what we're experiencing um we were experiencing an, an up move here a drop you can expect one last up move here breaking this previous high then get a drop like that impulse move like that and from here now uh, we can be assessing uh, to you on what's next based on what structure we'll be giving uh so you can expect price to kind of like give impulse quarter structure then up like that and then after breaking previous high get a drop um, either up to this area or it can even continue lower like this breaking low and breaking low and then from here um, you can be assessing to you what's next but as of now if you are looking forward to trading this um, be on the lookout for this up move here be on the lookout for this up move here um, 
keep in mind that an up move here can take place in a form of a correction or in a form of an impulse this is an impulse and if we get a correction that's how it would move it would just move like this like this then get a drop like that breaking this previous low that's for USDCHF uh, this is GBPJPY now for GBPJPY this is how price looks we're just moving sideways like this there's a possibility for one more up breaking this previous high then get this drop because it's 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 the expected drop uh, based on our structure has moved here uh, so we can expect this up move then get this drop that is what we can expect on gbp jpy